Um, hi everyone. Today I'm, I'm going to be doing a video on like really light pretty makeup that you don't really need a lot to do it. But it really helps if you have small eyes like me. Um, it helps you define them more. And it, it's going to help people that have a bigger face than I. Like I have a little bit of a double chin. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, so let's get started. I don't want to put any foundation on because... It's really hot outside, and then your makeup is going to get extremely cakey. So, I don't like putting makeup on, like, the liquid makeup on. Um, so, the first thing I'm going to start with is I'm going to put concealer on. I really like this Origins concealer. As you can see, I'm sort of, like, finishing it. And I love it because it doesn't clog your pores, and it's just great for summer. It's lightweight, and all the all the ingredients in this are natural. And you spread it. And I'm breaking out right now, so I haven't put a makeup on in the longest time, and I really like this. Um, oh, and obviously, um, you put it under your eyes. So the next thing we're going to do is do the powder, and it's also Origins. And like I said, I like this because it doesn't clog your pores, and it's just great for this time of year. So you just... I use this brush and it's from Clinique. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's great for applying powder. And it's really easy. You just apply it. This is, as like I said, it's not a lot of makeup, but it's really great. And just natural looking, and it's not that much. And a trick that somebody taught me is that if you have a double chin apply some right where the chin starts you see that I don't know if you can see it but where the double chin is and just spread it around that's gonna help to hide the shadow so that's good and so the next step is putting this origins I love origins with a passion and the next thing I would do is just put some of this on and I have this brush from Sephora and I really like it because it just helps you. And you just dab it. And then you just... I usually smile. And I just sweep it across my cheeks. It really helps you um, make your face longer if you apply it like that. Like up. And just smile and apply it. And the next thing that I want to show you guys is this Urban Decay Primer. I think I showed it to you in my last video. And it's pretty worn out because I really like it. And every time I put eyeshadow on, I just have to put it on. So you just dab it on there. You spread it. So I'm going to be using this color from MAC. It's really pretty, just like really light. I wore it for my graduation. And it's called um, Gleam. Gleam, so. And all you do is you get your smudge brush and you just dab it on there and then you just spread it across and what you really want to do here is concentrate on getting it there because if you have dark eyes like me you really want the light um, to hit on top that way your eyes are going to look lighter so this is just gonna really help your eyes if you have dark eyes next thing you would use is this color um I'm not sure the name of it it's from Mac I know that but these are all fine but for this I really like to use this covergirl um smoky shadow blast and then I put it on the crease And I just do that. I fill it in. And if you put it in the butt in that part, it's really gonna make your eye like stretch more and it's gonna make it look really pretty. And I think if I were anybody else, I would totally put that on. And then finally, um I put that on and I don't really wanna leave it like that because it's gonna look pretty weird. And smudge a little bit and just Run it across again. And just finish it off. Finish it off all pretty. And I just, um, 
I blend it in with this one. And as you can see, it's coming out a little bit weird. But most of the time at the end, it looks really nice and really put together. And I really like it. So. The next thing I do, like, you see the way it didn't come out perfectly. Um, I like to just get it again. I just work with whatever I have. Uh, because I think it's just better, and I just do that. And as you can see, that looks really pretty. I think it looks great, and it just looks really nice. So let me just finish this side. But that's what I do. Really pretty. I really like this. Mm, and the last thing I like to do is, as you can see, it looks a lot different. Well, to me it does. I don't know if it And I just like to put it there. Right there. I like to bring it in. Like that. I think that like puts it together a lot. And it makes your eyes bigger and just prettier. And let's finish this off. Um, I'm going to put eyeliner on, so I really like how that turned out. So I'm just going to take this um, Beauty Rush from Victoria's Secret, and I really like these because they have a little bit glitter, and it'll, you can use, um, I use some, sometimes I use a Clinique, the Clinique um, eyeliner, and it's brown too, and it works fine, it's just, um, you can use that if you just want it to be like light makeup. But if you like it more glam like me, I would totally use this. And you just put it on. I stretch my eye and I just sweep it across that part. And that's what I usually do. I sweep it and then I... I like to put it in the outer corner more. Because that, that'll make your eye bigger. And you want the light to hit the light part. So it'll make your eyes more wide open and more um, more bright. So that'll work for that. And on the bottom, I put a little bit. But I think the eyeshadow works great. But you can't put a little bit on. And you do the same with the other one. And there you go. Those are really pretty eyes. And they're great for just going out with friends. You'll have guys staring at you with those beautiful, big, huge eyes. And last but not least, on the eyes, I do recommend if you want to make your eyes lighter, you can use the same, the same um, eyeshadow you used on the on the inner corner on the on this part. But if you really want to. Like, make it wider. What I would do is I would get the same brush. The same brush I used to put it right there. And I get this Origins. Um, it's called White Gold. And you're just going to put it on the inner corner of your eye. Just to give your eye um, a brighter and just prettier look. You're going to put it right there. And you're just going to bring it in. And as you can see, that brightens your eye. And I like, I'm not sure if that's what it's used for. But I have a dark right here. And I really like the way it works out. So, do the same with this eye. And it'll just give your eyes a brighter, more um, light. It'll make your eye color lighter, and it'll just really work out fine. And for the lips, um, I don't know why, but lately it looks like I have color on, which is weird because I don't. And what I use is this Origins. I know I love Origins, but it's, like, amazing. I love it. It's called... I'm not sure what it's called. The letters are extremely small, but I know that it's number 20. So, I really like this, and it's, like, a pinkish... Um, coral, corally color, and I just love the way it looks. 
what I have noticed is that the the um, origins um, or um, origins lipsticks are I don't you can't really tell a lot when you put it on. Oh, you can't. Okay, never mind. But yeah. And that's like a really pretty color. Um, if you do not want to wear it, if you don't know, if you don't want to wear it like to wherever you're going because you think it's too much color, you can buy this um, from Victoria's Secret, the Beauty Rush, and it'll just um, it's like orangey, pinkish, same thing as the lipstick. But I like to put it on, and I just, what I do is I put it on top of my lipstick, so it can give it shine, and it looks really pretty, um, it looks really pretty, just, I love the way it turns out, and then last but not least, I like to curl my eyelashes, and an eyelash curler that I love, look, you like my makeup bag, it's really cute. Um, it's great to put everything in it, and it's all organized, I love it. Um, um, my favorite, um, eyelash curler is the one by Tweezerman, and it's so good. I love the way it works. It's, like, hard. I don't like it to be wiggly, and it's great. So, what I do is I just curl my eyelashes, and I like to do this CoverGirl Mascara. I have it in brown, too, and it's the Lash Blast Volume, and I love the way it works. I like the brush. I think all brushes should be like this. I also like the the CoverGirl, the Falsies. Oh, I love that brush. It's so amazing. I also have that, but today I'll be putting it. And what I like to do is I like to take that out. Bring the middle ones out. The first ones out to that side. The outside ones just... So it could look like a fluttery effect. It'll look really pretty. But that's pretty much it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I really like this the way this turned out. And I just think this is great. And it complements um, pe people's um, people with a darker skin tone and dark eyes. And people that have small eyes that have um, a bigger face. And I hope you guys like this video. And keep on watching and subscribe, please. Thank you.